Okay, uh, welcome to my another tutorial. Uh, today I am going to show how to create this uh, hand wheel, which is there's a uh, many parts that I use, uh, especially with the uh, uh, in the form environment. Okay, let's get started. First of all, I would like to create the create form here. So this form is basically using the torus, and then uh, x y plane as I choose, and then I click the center point, and then I just left click, and this one is control the diameter, which is if we look the diameter is uh, at the pitch diameter, so I choose hundred, hundred for the diameter and then this is the number of faces which is in the uh, diameter one so if i uh, change to 25 so it will be less uh, faces in this case i will use a 48 and then diameter two is basically is the profile diameter i will use 10 as a diameter here okay, okay maybe i make a bit bigger 12 and then this is the number of faces so if i type 4 it's just only 4 faces in this case i just want to use 8 okay and then let's click ok ok uh, first of all i would like to create the this one the economic shape of a uh, hand which is will grab the hand wheel so i will select this so if you if you click in the top uh, view and then this is the vertical I will select the line next to the vertical line from the top view and then I will continue selecting these edges until but I give a space one edges and then continue okay this is the last edges okay and then i click the top view again and then i will use this edit form and I will scale this 0 0.9 okay scale with the 0 0.9 okay as you can see here it automatically create the uh, shape over here and then I will click OK as it uh, think the shape is already good okay and then I also want to select the outer I will select the double click for this one and then they will automatically select all the circling edge and then I use the edit form again and I will use uh, 0 0.97 ok I will look from the on ok 0 0.9 so is too much so 0 0.98 so it's basically almost give a straight vertical line okay and then uh, if you like to this would be a bit not too big I think so you can select all these faces uh, here and then you will double click sorry this one this one this one while holding your shift key shift key and then you double click so they will select automatically as a circle and then double click okay but somehow they will also select to this particular face that I don't 
need it so I can sell it okay so from here I also want to make a little bit smaller okay so maybe 1.1 scale vector okay This one, this one, I also want to. Okay, I think, yeah, I think it's uh, okay. As we mentioned here, if we take a look the shape, I already satisfied with this shape. But maybe it's a bit too. I will select all this shape, uh, always uh, edges, okay, between the vertical line, and then I will use this one. So from the form view, I will scale up a little bit. Okay, simply zero point. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think uh, the shape is uh, good enough. So, in this case, I will create the offset plane from my original view, and I will use uh, K okay, twelve. Sorry, I have to click the finish form. So when you when you done with that uh, form environment, you have to click the finish form, and then I will create the uh, sketch line over there. Okay, thirty then finish cats i use an extrude okay maybe minus 15 is good okay and then i will also want to create a profile which is our creating the front view here and i make it a slice so you can see the cross section of this shape okay and I will create a line from before I create a line I will project all the geometry here okay and then I will create a line so I will start from here to here is a midpoint and also from here to that particular edges okay then I make all this I will trim this edges okay. I will trim the outside okay yeah that one and I will create a construction here I create a construction as well and then I use the spine here so maybe right here here and then go to the point okay from this plane you can basically keep the horizontal constraint for this one just click uh, horizontal constraint to this particular uh, control point of the of the spline and then also I want to make it the horizontal as well as this uh, line of the control point okay. so this is basically the spline that I created I use this control point for this one to be horizontal ok 
actually and then you still can keep the different shape by dragging or giving the dimension of this uh, spline okay and then finish cats and then I will continue with the plane along a path this is the my path I create a plane over there and I also create a plane to the other side here okay both of this plane I will create the sketch okay in the largest larger part I will create the center point slot so this center point right. okay will create the slot with the center point slot here okay yeah then I will make the dimension maybe 7.5 and then the radius will be 2.5 okay and then at the end here we'll create the sketch over there I will use the ellipse here okay okay now I will create a dimension for my ellipse maybe I use um, y or maybe no 7.5 and then this one will be 4.5 okay let me try to create a log from this particular face so if you would like to select because it's this cat is inside this solid so you just click and hold your left button mouse button and then select the profile and then the second will be this one hold and then select this profile and then the rail will be this one okay so the rail will be This one is not touch all the profile. Oh, use the center line. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If you are not satisfied with the shape, so you still have, you can still make it larger like that. Okay. Okay. I think it's so good enough so maybe this one I will make a little bit smaller 6.5 and then four. okay and update okay the next one I will create a villain maybe using two and then this one this villain also using two so maybe I create a larger one in the here okay and then we just rotate it create the pattern circular pattern use the feature this feature and this feature select the axis the vertical axis I will use 3 ok and then continue with the shape which is uh, I'm using the polygon from the top view here number of sides will be 4 ok and then make sure you have the vertical or horizontal constraint for that one create the dimension maybe 12 ok and then extrude this one until they cut all and you just give your fillet on this one this one 0 0.5 thing then maybe you can add another chamfer here one two three four at the back five six seven, eight 
with the also 0 0.5 and then one more thing I will create the hole get the hole and then I just click the tangent area near here okay and then I will create a tapered hole with the diameter maybe I use 6 okay 6 will be good and then I will use the contour scene part of this uh, and then use 10 for the no maybe 10 is too much maybe 8 okay we'll use 8 okay and then the holder will be as enough as yeah I think it's good enough and then I click the model to create a model one okay I think it's a uh, finish our hand, hand wheel so you can select to you can continue to render the part if you like or maybe you can just or one more thing if you like to adjust this kind of the handle maybe it's too thin I will make it too larger so you can still double click this shape here and then let's say if I want to select all then okay with I can I still can uh, edit this shape with the modify and then our yeah maybe make a bit larger okay I scale it up a little bit to match with the or oh, maybe 0 point yeah I think it's good yeah. okay and then you just click finish form they will update automatically all the shape okay okay that's it for this uh, today tutorial and then please give a thumbs like my video and give a comment if you have in your mind and don't forget to subscribe bye bye